My name is Joshua, I'm a senior. My name is Anna Marie Castro, and I'm a junior. My name is Tyler Meyer, I'm a senior. And we're from Omaha South. South. And the title of this piece is called My Pain. I am your son hiding my depression. I am a girl who thinks of suicide. I am the one asking you to care. I am the girl sitting next to you. I'm your best friend, hoping that you'll be there. I am your friend, acting like I'm fine. I am a person living a life of shame. I am a poet writing of my pain. As these days slowly pass by and the weeks creep by, I find myself obsessing of ways that I could die. I lie awake at night thinking of my pain. There's no way it can get better. I have nothing left to gain. I no longer want to be around the people. I love that I can think all that I can think is what's waiting up above. I cut my arms and brace the blades to draw the pain inside, but that can only last so long. I, I don't, don't want to be alive. I manage to keep my composure when people are around. They wouldn't understand me, so I, I don't make a sound. So I make a plan to take some pills. It shouldn't take too long. I write out notes to all my friends to read when I am gone. I ask my mom to understand that life is just way too hard. My mom can't fight it anymore. anymore. My heart is far too scarred. I plan it out so perfectly. I even set the date. I'm pretty sure I'm ready. I know this is my fate. My bed is made out neatly as I take them one by one. I start to feel a little scared. I, I know, know I'm, I'm almost, almost done. done. All that I can think about is how much I'm letting go and how much I love my family. I, I really, really hope they know. My eyes are getting heavy. My body feels so weak. Everything inside is numb. That's the way it has to be. I'm glad that my mom is not here right now to watch me slowly die, but I wish I could say I love you and goodbye. We, we give into the, the darkness. darkness. We, we slowly slip, slip away. away. We, we hope, hope to go to heaven. heaven. Where dark turns today. I wake up in confusion. I don't know where I am. Is this heaven? Or is it hell? The, the land of the eternally damned. There are people all around, although I can barely see. I can hear voices of people dear to me. My family and friends are here comforting one another. I can hardly make out any words until I hear my mother's voice. Each tear she cries feels like a knife stabbing at my soul. I let my pain and suffering blind me from my goal. At one point I was determined to make it through this test, to lead a life of fulfillment, and to do my very best. But somehow, I lost all sight of that. I hope she can forgive. I, I promise not to waste my second chance to live. I sit up in my hospital bed, tears streaming down my cheeks. My mother rushes in crying like she hasn't seen me in weeks. I tell her that I am sorry for causing her so much strife. I tell her that I will succeed in leading a better life. Together we figured out to get help for me. I know that now I can go instead to her instead of doing it to myself. I know that's not over yet. It's, it's a long, long road up ahead. But I appreciate the little things because I could be dead. I've learned to live each passing day as if it were my last. I look forward to the future and, and I'm learning from my past. 